I will be forever the myth. You're the king of kings, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a pecking order. The little peckers never mess with the big peckers. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken, so to speak. Talking about the last minute preparation, thinking those last minute thoughts. And our first competitor, I believe, yes, Mike Quinn. Mike begins a powerful look at the audience. Mike is a hard driving type of personality, very charismatic. Oh, he's extremely massive. I would venture to say one of the most massive bodybuilders on today. Contact with the audience. I'm not sure they're listening to him. So. Oh, they're just a little cold, but boy, I tell you, he's really drawn them in. Mike has really brought up his legs. Notice that upper body development here is just phenomenal. Oh, he really has. Any weaknesses? Well, Mike's uh, weaknesses traditionally have been in the legs, but he's really brought those up this year, and I feel that his symmetry has improved tremendously. He's a real hard worker and really driving. The good posing routine, dramatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's that tremendous back development. He really seems to be enjoying himself. He's trying to make sure the audience is not doing it. This is his life. They have to see what he wants to say. It seems to be his own. Oh, 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 he is, uh, he's a hard worker, he really is. Yeah. Yeah, he is coming out the early, but you have to be obsessed with those kind of Borderline, I would say. <laughs> Let's talk to those great bodybuilders. Mike is just finished performing. You're at the third to come, and is the crowd not getting into it? What's happening? I don't know. They're not rocking and rolling tonight. We're going to make them rock and roll, though. I don't know. I go crazy. Tonight in the pole's down, we're going crazy. Oh, kidding. How do you feel about the performance? Um, I probably could have been a little hotter. Maybe a little lighter. I'm a very big competitor. I'm always one of the biggest. But um, I'm young. I'm my first year professional. So um, I'm happy. People like me. That's all that matters. A top six pose down. Our competitors are Brian Buchanan in front. There's Robbie Robinson. There's Mike Christian, you see, right beside him. Peter Hensel is also in this group. Mike Quinn. Scott Wilson also makes the top six. Oh, they're, they're really going at it now. Fighting for the judges' attention. Fighting for the applause. The audience is going crazy. You get to see all of them at once. You got your favorite, so everyone has their favorite. They're screaming for you. You can hear them right now. Isn't that great? And they finally stop, and they have to force them to stop. Hams, all of them. Mike obviously is very happy as he's leaving. As a competitor, you can tell you're ahead at this point. I feel, I feel that uh, it's, it's a gut feeling. Uh, they can probably tell at this point. Much reaction from the crowd. They're all vying for position, jockeying in and out, trying to get the attention, trying to make those last minute points. And there we see Mike Quinn coming up to yeah. uh, Is it tired? Do you get tired by this point? Oh, sure. This is very exhausting. This is where you put the last, uh, the last bit of energy in. This is like the last quarter mile for the marathon runner. These guys are definitely exhausted, although they're not showing it. And here comes Quinn to squeeze another one also. Who would it be? I think it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's up to the judges. Six. To put him back in order. Now 
Number six, Scott Wilson. Scotty takes sixth place at the World Pros. You saw a little jump from Mike Quinn there. This is because he was trying to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. By making top five in this competition, he qualified for the main event. And Peter Henslow will be fifth. Peter's obviously disappointed with his place. However, against such a strong field, I feel that uh, this is a good place for him. You can tell Quinn is thrilled. Look at him. He, does. he knows he's better than this now. And he gets... Four. That's where I figured he's going to finish competition. Mike Quinn. Pretty good finish for him here. Mike is trying to put down the booing from the audience. He's very happy with his placing. He said, Don't worry about it. I've had to go to the Olympics. That's right. I get to face Labrada. <laughs> he takes third. And it's Robbie that gets third in mid hug. Robbie's in third place. Not a disappointing thing for him considering uh, where he's had to come from. Robbie's such a great athlete, climbing all the time. He's had the two fellows we thought would be the finals. Look at him standing side by He's standing Christian. It's going to be really close, really close. First place in the 1988 Pro World Championships is Mike Christian. Yes, sir. It is Mike Christian. Brian and Hector Fellas for second tonight. Tonight. And how happy he is. You know, Mike got only hit a little bit of pass doesn't hurt his feet. Sure. I never hurt anybody. <laughs> all that work, all that vindication, you're the best body on stage among the best pros in the world. What a feeling. <laughs> happy for you, Mike. Oh, there's still Weeder to put the first place medal around Mike Fisher's neck. Oh, you don't see kind of huh? Alright, look.